Okay, so I'm getting a lot of questions on the proportional versus non-proportional assignment. I would like to first say, please uh, pay attention to the due dates. Um, don't stress over it. It's not due today. It's not due this week. Um, so, um, just pay attention to the due dates. Okay. How can I tell if a table is proportional? Or, in other words, how can I tell if a table shows direct variation? Same thing, okay? So, let's look at this table versus this table. All my X values are the same, but my Y values are different, okay? If a table is proportional, that means that Y varies directly with X. So, that means that Y varies with X. Okay, that all sounds fancy. It just means that Y divided by x is going to equal the same thing over and over and over again okay for example y divided by x 16 divided by 8 2 20 divided by 10 it's 2 24 divided by 12 it's 2 and then 32 divided by 16 is 2 this table shows direct variation this table is proportional so on that assignment you just put yes that's it now, what about this table? Okay, y divided by x. Does this table show direct variation? Is this table proportional? Well, 16 divided by 8 is 2. 18 divided by 10, 1.8. 20 divided by 12, uh, 1.67. Well, are we getting the same numbers? I don't even need to divide these two. Okay, we're not getting the same answer every time. So, this table is not proportional. I didn't even have to go past this one because 2 and 1.8 are not the same. Do not round 1.8 to 2. 1.8 and 2 are two totally different values, all right? So the answer for this table would be no. You need to divide all of your x's and y's because it could change when you get to the last one. Okay, so I hope this was a good example and it uh, clarified the assignment. If you did not do or if you were not successful the first time, let me know. I will just uh, delete your response on Google Forms and then you just redo it and make a better grade this time. Alrighty. Alright, bye now.